everyone. I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your day. I am thrilled to be bringing this video today in collaboration with my good friend, Christy Russell, who has an amazing YouTube channel. I will leave all of her information down below. She does fashion, she does beauty, she does planning, she does it all, and she does it very well. You should definitely go to her channel, check it out, and subscribe and support her. What we decided to do is take the 2017 fashion trends. Christy is showing you how to work those into your daily wardrobe and I am reinterpreting them and showing you how to fit them into your home decor through some simple DIYs, some thrift store finds, and some little touches and I'll be sharing some tips along the way. But make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because Christy will be talking to you about what you can expect over on her channel. Without further ado, let's dive in. So trend number one, embroidery, patches, embellishments. So I'm sporting my embellished shirt that I DIY'd and was actually an inspiration from Christie's Instagram. But I will link the video where I DIY'd this shirt down below just in case you're interested. But how do you bring patches, embroidery, and embellishment into your home? First of all, I think it's important to notice that these are all trends. So you shouldn't invest a ton of money in them because they might not always be popular. But I have some simple DIYs to make this trend work in your home. One of the most popular embellishments happening this spring is pom-poms. And I got online and was researching some pom-pom baskets and they ranged from $50 to $225. But for a simple $25, I went ahead and made my own pom-pom basket. And once you throw some white, black, and gray throws in this, it really looks cool. I picked up this basket at Home Goods for $13.99. I went and got some gray, white, and black pom-poms and just glued them on using some E6000 glue. And I love how it turned out. And I had this black leather tassel that I just tied around the top. And I think it's a really easy way to bring that embellished look into your house. This is really great for a kid's room. And you can always select pom-poms that match your color scheme. They come in every color anymore. So easy trend, $25, bring it into your home. Now, you're gonna hear me say this a lot of times in this video, but because these are trends, they shouldn't cost a lot. So the easiest way to add that embellished, embroidered feel into your home is through a simple, throw pillow. This one I picked up at Home Goods for $19.99, so for $20 you can add that sense of embellishment. Has beautiful colors, the embroidery is really well done, and they even added the multicolor tassels. This is a great way to bring that trend in that isn't permanent and that you can change out really easily. Now, one of my most favorite home decor tips of all time is to incorporate lots of stools and ottomans into your home decor throughout the house. The reason is when you have company, you can start pulling them and you have extra seating right off the bat. It's super, super helpful. So while I was walking through Home Goods, one of my favorite aisles is their artisan aisle where they have a lot of handcrafted pieces. And when I found this ottoman, I literally lost my mind because it is so beautiful. It is so on top of that 2017 embroidery trend and it actually matches the clutch that Christy shared in her video. So I can't think of a better way to close out this trend than with this amazingly beautiful embroidered ottoman. It is a great way to bring that bohemian embroidered, handcrafted feel into your home. Once again, this is just a really easy, not permanent way to incorporate this trend. And this was around $25.99 and it's beautiful. And I'll pull this out and people can sit on it. I might even use it as my meditation cushion um, in my house. So just a really, really great ottoman and a really easy way to incorporate that embellished and embroidered trend throughout your home. The next trend will be no surprise, but it is the color pink. And if you have watched any of my videos, you know that I am obsessed with this color. I actually consider it a neutral because it pairs well with 
emerald greens, navy blues, just an array of colors. I really, really love it. And I have been incorporating it throughout our home everywhere. And I'm going to show you easy ways to interpret blush into your home decor. Once again, the first way to incorporate this trend that is not permanent, simple, and easy is through a throw pillow. I picked this up at Target for $24.99. So for $25, you can get this beautiful blush color in your living room, in your bedroom, anywhere you could put a pillow, you could get that trend to incorporate. Also love this Mongolian faux fur look, which is really in right now. And if you've watched my haul video from Home Goods that I'll link down below, the three ways to make pillows work in your house so they don't look matchy-matchy is a big print, a small print, and texture. And right here you get a spring trend color with a lot of texture to make a collection of pillows look really, really great. While we are talking about Mongolian fur, and we talked about ottomans in trend number one, I need to share probably the best purchase I've made for my home in the last month. And it is from West Elm. And it is this Mongolian ottoman. And it is real Mongolian fur. And it is in that beautiful blush color. It is so soft. I love putting my feet up on this at night with a glass of wine. And it has these beautiful gold metal legs. So it also brings in that really trendy metallic color and it's just a little bit more expensive but if you're really committed to the color which i am um, this is a really great option to bring some high-end piece into your decor it's from west elm i will leave it linked down below it is simply beautiful i just gave you a high-end version of how to incorporate the pink i want to give you the cheapest way to get it into your home and that is through h m's home line where they are carrying a bunch of these blush different size canisters and vases. This one was $9.99, so for under $10, you can get this into your home and add that pop of color. I'm using one on my bedside table to hold any accessories I have on during the day, and also one in my living room to hold coasters. I absolutely love them. They would be stunning in a bathroom. You could use this as a salt crock in your kitchen. Really, the possibilities are endless. Um, so yeah, great way to incorporate it on a budget. So many of you know that I love to incorporate natural elements into my home decor. So I think the most natural and beautiful way to bring in this pink blush color into your home decor is through a pink Himalayan salt lamp. These range in price based on the size you get, but you can get them from anywhere from 20 to I think this one was $60. Um, I love that it is adds the shine, adds the pink, and then you also have the very natural wood base so it helps ground that stone and warm it up a little bit. They are beautiful when they're not lit, they are beautiful when they are lit. An interesting fact, they say that it helps purify the air when it's turned on. So not only are you getting some benefits from the beauty of it, but you're also getting some health benefits as well. We have four of these around our home. I absolutely love them. And it's a great way to incorporate a little bit of shine and a lot of that blush pink tone into your home decor. So trend number three is mixed metals. And I'm actually going to cut away to some pictures of how I incorporate this into my home on the everyday because I think mixed metals looks extremely chic and there are some things you shouldn't be afraid of and easy ways to tie it all together. So you can see in this shot of my kitchen counter that I have copper, I have silver, I have gold, and it all works together because I keep it very grounded within natural elements. I find that you can mix any metal you want as long as you tie it together. So you'll see a lot of wooden cutting boards leaned against the wall. You'll also see cutting boards used as pedestals. This is a great way to tie collections together and make them look really cohesive. Another thing is people freak out that if you have stainless steel appliances, everything in your kitchen must be stainless steel or that brushed nickel. You will see that my appliances are stainless steel and my hardware is gold and I absolutely love the way it looks. And the way you make it work is the style of handle on all of my appliances matches the style of handle on my cabinets. And I love this mix of gold and the stainless steel. I think it is really, really beautiful. And every time I walked in that kitchen, I am so happy with that decision. Lastly, when pairing a vignette together in your living room, you can see in this shot here, it looks really stunning to have some copper and gold mixed together and the way you make it look really cohesive is I added that natural gray neutral stone behind to help ground it and tie it all together. 
mixing metals is super chic and looks really stylish when well done. If you follow my tips around grounding them with natural neutral elements and also keeping the lines the same, like on the handles of the appliances, you will find that this trend will work in your home and you will be so happy you did it. And people will walk in and they will notice it and they will be like, oh, that is stunning because it is. Don't be afraid. Trend number four, you guessed it, is stripes. This is an easy and amazing trend to incorporate into your home decor. I'm going to show you some less permanent ways to incorporate it, and then we're going to talk about painting and how to paint the perfect stripe in your house. The first way to incorporate trends that is cheap, easy, and not permanent is through a throw blanket. And this is my absolute favorite throw of all time. And it is the Evor throw from Ikea. And it is this bold black and white stripe. What I love about this is it goes with everything from a kid's bedroom to making the most traditional piece of furniture looking really modern. Where I have been loving this in my house right now is in that pom-pom basket that I made in trend number one. The linear quality of this throw with the stripe with the like spherical pom-poms that are all over the basket, it's this really cool balance and it just looks amazing not permanent, super cheap. It's about $24 at Ikea and an easy way to incorporate that spring trend of stripes into your house. Now, clearly you can buy tons of throw pillows that have stripes, rugs, all of those things will work and a way to put it into your home. However, I want to spend most of the time talking about how to paint it on your walls. This is a commitment, but it can be done in small spaces. I painted simple stripes over my fireplace. I'll link my home tour video down below so that you can see what that looks like, but you can do big spaces or you can do small spaces. But what's important is that you think about which way your stripes need to go, horizontal or vertical. And here are the two rules to remember. If your room has high ceilings but feels small, you want to go horizontal. It makes everything look longer and more spacious. But if your room has low ceilings, you want to go vertical. It'll elongate everything and make it look higher. Now, how do you paint the perfect stripe? There's only one thing you need to do to get the perfect painted stripe in your home, and I'm going to show you right now. I have this canvas, and we're going to pretend that this canvas is my wall, and you measured out your stripes, and you taped it off, and now it is a time to apply your stripe. But before you go in and start painting, say we're going to make this dark gray, before you paint the dark gray, you want to seal the tape with your wall color. So I get a sponge brush, I get my wall color, and I paint a very thin line across that paint border. What this does is it seals the wall and the tape. So once you let this dry and you paint your stripe color on, nothing seeps through underneath the tape. So when you peel this off, you will have a crisp and perfect line. So just remember, thin coat of your wall color to seal your tape line and you will get a perfect stripe. So the last and final trend is slogans. And I am rocking my slogan and it says, a woman's place is in the house and the Senate. Now, going to be completely honest with you, keep this one the cheapest because slogans are super trendy and they might not fit into your home decor for the long term. So really, really think minimal cost and how can I reuse this or repurpose it in the future? And this is the simplest DIY I could ever share with you. One of my favorite and cheapest places to shop, especially for metallics, is Goodwill. So one of my favorite things to do is to pick up a bunch of old frames for Goodwill. This one costs 99 cents. It is a beautiful gold that has tarnished a little bit and then print off some of your favorite slogans. This is on regular printer paper, and this one says, collect moments, not things. Easy way to incorporate that slogan trend. If you want a little bit more expensive frame, this one's from Target, it costs around $9.99, and I love the wood. It looks really rich, it looks really earthy and warm, and I found this 
print online, I was finding Aristotle quotes because I love Aristotle's quotes. And I found this one that backed with beautiful succulents. And it says, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. I think it's a beautiful quote. It matches our decor. We have this hanging up in our home. We've gotten lots of compliments and asked where I got it. I'm like, I printed it online and threw it in a frame. And then what's beautiful is after this trend no longer fits into your lifestyle or isn't popular anymore, you just switch it out with a wrapping paper you really like, a wallpaper sample you really like, or just some picture from a vacation or anything. So easy way to keep this trend in your home, but not high cost and not permanent. If you don't want to DIY or find quotes online, the cheapest way to incorporate slogans into your home decor is through dish towels. And I picked these up at Home Goods for $5.99. This one says, let's get takeout. This one says, this kitchen is for dancing. And it's a great way to get that graphic print slogan into your home without a lot of cost. You can also find lots of throw pillows with easy, simple phrases on them. And one of my favorite places to find really great dish towels that have slogans and sometimes really quirky saying is Anthropology. Although those will run you about $20. They are beautiful and really well made and I love their dish towels. So that is how you can take those 2017 fashion trends and incorporate them into your home. Now a little word from my girl, Christy. Hi everyone, my name is Christy and I am so excited to be doing this collaboration with Christopher. He is so amazing. And now that he has gone through all of these spring home trends, I am going to be taking those trends as well and translating them so that you can use them in your closet as well. I have DIY projects and easy ways that you can incorporate these trends in small doses or in really big ways. So there will definitely be something for everyone. So I would love for you to head on over to my channel so we can chat and connect a little bit further. I look forward to chatting with you soon. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, click that little red subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.